Hey, this is Namdev Hardesty of the MBA Studio. Uh, if you're wondering what my crazy shoulder straps are for, I have my nine month or nine week old daughter Noelle strapped to my front. Um, and uh, why am I making this video? Ah, I remember. Um, this video. So I'm in the process right now of painting, hand painting, two thousand postcards for a theater performance. Um, and uh, so I'll show them. So we can get into why this is necessary. So, search one. Let's see. Here's another one. Each one is different. I've gotten to about, I think, 500 at this point. Maybe about 700. I can't remember. I got a little ways to go. So, the concept for the postcard is that uh, it's a performance of crime and punishment. And there's this photograph uh, that I was given from the theater group of a hand and it's kind of bloody, but you can't really tell because uh, it's black and white and there's like some hair in it or maybe it's grass. But basically the story is the, um, uh, I can't remember the dude's name now, but the, the protagonist of uh, Crime and Punishment, he comes home from committing these two murders and then he doesn't even realize he's covered in blood. His hands are like all bloody and they got gunk from an ax murder. It's a nasty situation. Um, it's that kind of horror of like, oh my God, what have I done? So. I was thinking about this and I came back from this meeting with the soap factory and uh, and at that moment open on my computer was a project called Snow White by uh, Gerhard Richter where he'd taken this, this set of prints and he'd cut them down into small pieces and then he hit each one with like basically a wash of white paint and it was this edition. I looked at it and I was like, oh, maybe that's Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. Like, I'm supposed to print these postcards and they just hit them with a, a flood of blood red paint. And my thinking was that it was like the idea of like wiping the blood out of your eyes after this murder, uh, which I thought was like a really nice kind of visceral idea. Now, I was just talking to somebody today and they were like, why did you feel like you had to hand paint the 2000 postcards? Why couldn't you just print the postcards so it looked like it had blood on it? Um, and I will tell you why. So why am I painting 2,000 postcards? Um, the reason is this. So it's so easy to make a little piece of printed collateral that looks nice. Like, it, it's just too easy to do now, right? Like, we had these postcards printed at overnight prints. It costs like $300 for 2,000 postcards. They're perfectly acceptable and they're printing. Um, the paper's not fancy, but it's thick enough. Like everything about it is fine. They, they were done in a day and a half. I mean, it's ridiculous. So like anybody can make a sort of nice postcard, which at one point wasn't true. Like printing a postcard would make it stand out from somebody who went to Kinko's and RIP Kinko's. Um, so, so it's too easy in a way. So on my first thing nowadays, sorry, I'm gonna start rocking to take care to keep the baby asleep. My uh, my first instinct these days, whenever I have like one of these little print projects where I can't afford to do something nice is to think like, okay, well, what can I do to make this have a little bit of a, a WTF factor? Like what's going to stop somebody in their tracks? And so I'm, I was thinking like, well, we could just, we could just rip an edge off every postcard. So you'd get it. It, it would feel like something was messed up about it and you might respond to that. Um, before I had seen the Gerhard Richter thing, I was already thinking about painting them, and I was like, what if I just dip an edge in paint? Every edge has got this like beautiful kind of bloody edge. Um, trying to think of any other ideas. One of the things I contemplate a lot now is the idea of attaching something to it, or maybe just taking the whole thing and just cutting off a corner. Just anything to make that boring five by seven postcard a little bit more exciting. Um, and what it ended up being was like, I saw this Gerhard Richter thing and I was like, holy shit, like that's going to work perfectly. Like, um, and I experimented with some processes and finally landed at one where every single postcard is different. Like there's no consistency. Some are hit with a little bit of paint, like a tiny bit of spatter, right? And some are nasty and thick and they stick to everything. Like, like if you put it in your backpack, it's going to stick to the other paper that's in there, which is pretty rad. Um, and so my, my biggest motivation, like, like, conceptually painting the 2000 postcards makes sense. It's like congruent with the idea, but on this really basic front, my goal is just like, 
to stop somebody in their tracks with like a kind of physical experience or when they see the stack of postcards in a coffee shop that they're like whoa what is that because it's physical and it's out of the ordinary um now there's an argument that be made like you could do this through design but the the problem i have with that is that um that in this context like it's not like we're, we're not mailing these they're like handout flyers right so you're like bombarded with stuff in the environment when you leave your house if you go to a coffee shop there's like five of these weekly newspapers there's free community newspapers there's all these postcards there's well-designed things there's crappy design things there's a ton of noise like it's like its own little market and there's a ton of noise in there and then on top of that is if i just have a great design thing i feel like there's actually a risk factor which is like some people will think it looks cool and they'll be like oh what's that and other people will see it and they'll be like uh don't care about that for whatever reason and because it's not like it's not going to them in a trusted way it's not like i'm mailing the postcard to someone and they're like oh i'm receiving this thing let me check it out they don't, they don't have they don't even have to look at this they have to make a concerted effort to go and get it so my feeling is it uh it needs to be unusual it needs to be out of the ordinary um and i think that as print gets nicer and nicer and quicker and faster um and the standards for graphic design culturally go down and the reason they're going to go down is because everybody can make graphic design so everybody is going to make graphic design rather than be a baby and worry about that my attitude is like all right like what are other ways i can affect people now because make typography by itself is like not going to do it or a combination of color and photography or whatever it's like i've got to try to do something unusual in the context um and it for me to sort of sleep at night it's got to be like conceptually make sense for the project so that is why i'm uh that's why i'm hand painting in my backyard 2000 postcards um because i want people to pay attention to this crime and punishment performance and i'm hoping the way they do that is they get this postcard, they touch it, it doesn't feel right because it's not smooth, it's gross, and it's got paint on it and all that stuff. And that's why the basic point is like connection, contrast, make some noise. Um, let's see. I don't know. You should follow me on Twitter. I'm at Namdev, N-A-M-D-E-V. Um, or check out our website. It's the-mva.com or the-mva.com. Um, we have a good blog. I don't know. We talk about shit like this. Cool. Thanks.